Well, this is going to go horribly wrong. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you're so eager to see it, I would urge you to make the most of your visit. Because I count on ridding myself of that thing as soon as I can. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Hey, look, we could poke around. Did she really care for him, after all? Dear Madame, I acknowledge receipt of the letter in which you demand the body of your deceased husband. I'm sorry to inform you that I cannot agree to return his body to you. At the moment of his interment, you signed a discharge, allow me to dispose of the body as I see fit. I see fit. I extend my deepest concerns to you, Thomas Fuller. You are a grade A bastard. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Wow. That's, uh, horrible. Oh, hello. Reconstruction. Ooh, piano. House of artists. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Let's uh, focus on the reconstruction. Right. Oh, hello. Investigation. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler, finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell the painting? Is that all? Oh. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? She didn't want Sanders to have the painting. She must have felt devastated. Ah! Oh, I just lost Sanity. Oh. The Shambler. I need to see it. Did you just lose sanity, Pierce? Nope. Okay. Right. Uh. <sighs> Let's go with that one. Uh, let's bring that up to 50 at least. Uh, it's <laughs> occupation none. <clears throat> it's clear that she holds Sarah Sarah Hawkins responsible for the death of her husband. Or what I do not don't understand about Irene Sanders is this mix of sadness and insensitive insensitivity. She looks like she's given up on her husband long before his horror death in the centers of the Rivers, Riverside Institute. Uh, Cross-checking the information given by Francis Sanders and his widow, it is possible to reconstruct the events that led to the interment of Sanders. Everything points to Sarah, Sarah, to Sanders and Sarah Hawkins being close, linked at least by the interest in the collector showed in the artist's work, but certain, but probably more by a certain friendship, attested to by the repeated refusals of Sarah Hawkins to sell the painting called *The Shambler*. Against all, all expectations, she finally gave it away for free. The feelings still shown by Irene Sanders towards Sarah Hawkins are evidently derived from what she considers to be the artist's responsibility. Madness struck, struck Sanders a short while after he gained possession of the painting. 
Hey, V-Man. How are you? Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Are we really going to do that? Are we really going to do that? Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. Uh, my head. mix I of apprehensive and behind my eyelids. A bunch of other emotions from playing this game. I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery. Those accursed paintings. That accursed Sarah. Irene, I made a mistake. Oh, don't play it again. I fear that it might. All right, I'm leaving. You can listen to that again. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him. Behind my eyes. Is this way? Each time I shut my eyes. Yep. Wonder if there's anything in here. I can't take any more. That gives me either a cult or me. medicine. Be very handy about now. Um, but it looks like nothing. Oh, hello. Okay. Let's not activate the phonograph again. Alright, let's head over here. Uh, you have to deal with bloody Catwoman. Oh, hello. Hello. Aha! More medicine. I will right, we'll take it. I could use one of those. Ooh. Yoink. A strange Amerindian pendant. Yay, more occult. Um, sure. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Except to read the holy book. Well, I was a fucking idiot, one not I? <laughs> uh, at least I'm a professional occultist now. Still only an amateur doctor. Oh, what's my sanity? Malayas Bisterium. Oh boy, I love Call of Cthulhu. Oh no, man, it's it's great, but oh my god. Uh, Pierce read an ancient treati treatise. The, the Malleus Bestiarium. Oh, uh, Bestiarium. This Bestiarium makes an inventory of numerous creatures from the occult world or parallel dimensions. <laughs> oh, I see. I see how the Santa Bar works now. The very nature of its knowledge makes it an unholy book. By reading it, Pierce lost some of his sanity. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. <clears throat> I mean... Sure, I did hit the accept button. Oh, you're gonna be a bitch, aren't you? Another volume of the Reverend's Ooh. wife's diary. This volume spends her time on Rev Reverend Wickwood's community. His wife expresses her worries about the strange dreams the Reverend's congregation are having since their arrival on the island. Some members of the community, her husband included, begin to speak of their vision as being a messenger sent by God. She is scared they will, that they will suffer that suffer the same fate as the lost tribe. Well, I've obviously missed volume one at some point. Strange. For months, 
Sarah <coughs> Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. Dear Francis, I beg you to give up all hope of ever owning this accursed painting. If our friendship has any meaning for you, please spare me the weight of guilt. I cannot be the architect of your fall. I beg you, my dear friend, forget the shambler, your friend Sarah Hawkins. Alrighty. Really? I had to do strength. Okay. All right. All right, Prissy. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? I'm not here to cause trouble, if that's what's worrying you. Worry me? Don't overestimate Welcome yourself. back, Yoshi. If the last beating wasn't enough for you, I can always give it another go. But as long as you keep out of my way, you're free to carry on with your visit. There's more than that, Miss Baker. So people have been talking behind my back. I was almost beginning to like you, Mr. Pierce. But it stays cat for you. You knew the Sanders? Irene is a friend of mine. Right. And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Don't blame her. Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? <sighs> don't like dealing with you. All right, let's see what insanity this is. Ooh, hello. Nah, you're gonna get to see this. Are we? Okay. Sure. Cupboard. Holy Christ. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. No. Really? It's almost as if there was a whole other culture here before the Americans came. Well, I'll say Americans. Uh, that gave me that didn't give me anything. Okay. Well, one of these is going to be the Necronomicon. I'm pretty sure of that. Okay. These artifacts date yep. from pre-Columbian times. Scarab beetles from Egypt and uh, an empty box. Okay. Statue, more statues. From, well, as they're sphinxes, I'm assuming Egypt. Uh, caveman holding a thing. Is that a mother? Mother and a child. Uh, the man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Is that a lion slaying a seal? Sure. Uh, zombie Michael Michelangelo. Cupid wrestling a goose. That's surprising. Goose are horrible creatures. That's a thing. Uh, hmm. Oh, there's the shambler. What have we got over here? Undead lion. Face of bow. Lying with tentacles for a mane. Oh. Hmm. That's all he says. Oh, lantern. Awesome. Okay, another empty box. Tablet and some stone. 
Why was he so interested in old weapons? Because they're of a sacrificial nature, dude. Stone tablets. Okay. Uh, Sphinx Griffin meets Alien. Times two. Ancient stone tablet. Ian Jade. Can't do anything with that. Let's play Fortnite with a friend. Oh, how'd it go? I, I struggle with Fortnite, if I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, okay, what's over here? Uh, angel with devil wings and devil horns. That's pretty cool. Bust of some random dude. Uh, Cupid wrestling a ghost again, but miniature. Oh, more lantern oil. Anything over here? No. Alright. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah, hello. Is this dagger part of Sander's collection, or was he seeking to acquire it? Far from possessing the talents of Sarah Hawkins, Sanders drew a dagger with a tortured form down to the smallest detail. The guard carries a strange, er strange esoteric symbol, a, f a reoccurring feature of his correspondence with Sarah. Ten minutes in, I already love this game. Yeah. Well, uh, well. I'm appro rapidly approaching the 300 minute mark, so it's gripping. I'll tell you that much. Pretty sure I've seen that dagger in here. These artifacts nope. date from pre-Columbian times. No. I'm sure you'll improve, improve over time, though, Yosh uh, Yoshim. Oh. Ooh, hello. Oh, tiny. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Yeah, it's the thing. Where is it? There. Look. It's there. All right, never mind. Go to the hmm dagger. Uh, there were a couple of them. There we are. I'm at the hmm dagger. Now what? Oh, hello. Hey look, his Instagram is the same picture with different filters. Oh, another stone tablet. Never mind. <coughs> yeah, it's that dagger there, but it only gives me the these weapons date to pre Columbian times. Could almost be Dracula. Yeah, but the drawing, at least from my untrained eye, she would stop doing that. Would be this one. But it must have been something that was drawn to him, that was that he he had drawn before he acquired it so therefore the drawing the, the acquisition of the dagger therefore renders the uh, drawing um, invalid all right let's go look at the shambler let's lose sanity hooray Well, this isn't fun. Uh, behind you, dude. Dude. Oh. Gazing on it. 